Russia, and the United States of America. These two superpowers have been caught up in an arms race for more than half a century with no signs of slowing down. At first glance, however, it may be confusing to understand how Russia manages to compete. The United States has the largest military budget in the world, having spent $649 billion on their military in 2018 Russia doesn't even make the top five of this list and spent only $61.4 billion in 2018. However, on a per capita basis, Russia actually spent more than the U.S. at 3.9% of its GDP, where the U.S. only spent 3.2%. Despite the per capita difference, $649 billion is a lot bigger than $61.4 billion. So how does Russia compete? The short answer is cost. Russian weapons are far cheaper than U.S. weapons. With prices converted to U.S. dollars, the standard Russian sidearm is around $150 for the base model. Meanwhile, the standard military sidearm for an American soldier is a Beretta M9, which can cost between $500 and $1,000 depending on upgrades. To further highlight this price disparity, take a look at these weapons comparisons. In terms of ground forces, a third-generation American main battle tank like an M1 Abrams costs $6.21 million per unit. Russia's third-generation battle tank, the T-14 Armada, only costs $3.7 million per unit by comparison. Russia's S-400, a mobile long-range surface-to-air missile system, costs approximately $500 million. The U.S. equivalent Patriot Pac-2 battery costs $1 billion. Moving on to the Air Force. A fifth-generation Russian fighter jet like the Sukhoi Su-57 costs $50 million, while the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II ranges from $89.2 million to $107.7 million. Russia's current issue attack helicopter, the MIL Mi-28, costs $15 to $16 million per unit. The American Boeing AH-64 Apache costs between $20 to $35 million per unit. Finally, onto the Navy, a quick comparison of the nuclear submarine shows that Russia's Borei class submarines cost $433 million per unit, while American Virginia class submarines are $2.8 billion per unit. Whether it's by land, air, or sea, the United States often spends at least double what the Russians spend for similar equipment. Some say that the reason for this massive difference in military expenditures is due to a fundamentally different design philosophy between the two nations. The U.S. philosophy has been to invest in advanced technology or quality, which drives the prices way up. This is also likely why the U.S. defense industry is privately owned. Different companies need to bid for defense contracts, so they provide cutting-edge technology and design, but also bring along massive price tags in order to make a profit. In Russia, and actually most of the world, the defense industry is government-owned. The Russian government focuses on producing large amounts of cheap and reliable weapons. The Russians don't care about state-of-the-art features as long as the weapons do the job they are designed to do. Russian weapon systems are also not universally made, meaning that each tool gets its own weapon system with unique specifications. Americans try to keep everything running on the same system which helps for ease of use, but bring up the cost. Finally, the Russian ruble is undervalued compared to other currencies. This means that in Russia itself, the weapons are reasonably priced compared to the work involved. However, when it comes to exporting and comparing the weapons on a world scale, everyone pays with US dollars, which makes the US weapons seem nice and cheap. In conclusion, Russian weapons are cheaper than American weapons for several reasons, but mostly because of their overall philosophy. Americans want the best of the best, while Russians are content with good enough, but not perfect. It's unlikely we'll know which approach is superior unless both countries were to face each other head to head. And hopefully it never comes to that. For now, all we can do is speculate and imagine. Which approach do you think is better? If you have any thoughts on the matter, be sure to let us know in the comments below.